Hello and welcome to the first redstone video on my channel. Today we're going to take another look at the gold farm that I already made a video on with Ilmengo on his channel. This is basically an updated design of his 1.12 expert pigment farm but with a different concept. Most of the things that we changed were already explained in his video. But today we're going to take a look at something that a few people were having trouble with, designing a storage for it. It's really simple, but there were a lot of things that were overcomplicated that I saw in other people's designs. Basically all you need is just a clock, four droppers that are being fed from the sides, and then just a honey block to align it and a slime block to push it on the ice path. And then we just have three filters for gold nuggets and one filter for gold ingots. Here we also have auto crafters hooked up to it to already craft everything into gold blocks. If you take a look, it has been running for quite a while and we are getting around 307 gold blocks per hour. Then you just need like a shocker box loader or a chest to feed all the gold blocks in. If you don't have auto crafting, there's also just a different design, just with a basic chest storage. You can also replace this with a shulker box loader, whatever fits your requirements. As you can see, it's very simple. We just activate this clock dependent on the main control that we have over here to stop and start the farm. We also burn the items that aren't being picked up and all of those hoppers can keep up with the item rates. But we're also going to take a look at the 1.12 version again, because a lot of tech servers still play on 1.12 and we're having problems with this farm breaking because there were a lot of piston conveyors at the bottom that were able to break when the chunks were being unloaded while the farm was running. So I took the concepts that I learned from designing this farm and applied them to the 1.12 version. And this is what we're going to take a look at next. There will be a world download for the 1.16 version and the 1.12 version in the description. And here we are in the 1.12 version of this farm. If we take a look, here we can see that we have a kind of similar ice pattern. There's a little bit of a different uh, collection on the side here, as well as that we have the slime block pushed in for most of the time and only retracted shortly. That's because of uh, the behavior of items and XP orbs in 1.12. It's a little bit different than in the newer versions. So that's why I changed that because otherwise some of the items would glitch out and stay on the ice lanes. But this proved to be the best way of doing it. Um, also at the bottom here you see that it is a little bit different than in the 1.16 version because also movement of items on ice, also of the XP orbs on ice, is a bit different and the items were constantly overshooting and weren't stopping on the slime block. I've tried with different ice but the most reliable way was just to have them bump against the stairs, drop down and be pushed in by pistons. Wiring is mostly the same, but we just have different distances because in 1.12, as explained in Mango's video, uh, you basically have a cooldown between the spawning of the pigmen and killing of them where they can't drop any XP or items. So that's why you have the big walkways in between the drop shoots and the spawning platforms. But basically the rest stays almost the same. So you have still the, the elevator for the XP, which is just a little bit different in, in the height positions because we need to drop the items at a different height because of all the collection. And here we have a similar design for the storage uh, compared to the one we have in 1.16. Just we don't use a honey block, we just use a slime block to align it against a chest and then we just have the sorters on the other side of the ice path. As I said earlier, there will also be a world download for this version of the farm in the description. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments and until then, have a nice day and see you in the next video. Bye bye!